and supersymmetry. Chlorine is a very important chemical used for the production of many different items. Today on how it's gregged, we will be looking at the production of chlorine from halite evaporite deposits. First step in the process is to macerate the halide evaporate deposits. This gives you four halide evaporate deposit dust, which are then ready for stage two. In the second stage of the process, halide evaporate deposits are sifted. The products of this give you a percent bonus depending on the tier of your sifter. There are three items you get from sifting in order, carnalite, kainite, and salt, all of which can be processed into chlorine. This makes halide evaporate deposit the most effective method of generating chlorine. Carnalite and kainite can be leached, while salt is just mixed into solution and sent to the electrolysis plant. Crystallizing the leaches produced yields either magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride, and rock salt solution which is then sent off to an electrolysis plant. Magnesium sulfate is a kind of useless byproduct, however it can be turned into sulfuric acid. Magnesium chloride can be melted, electrolyzed, and this yields chlorine. Electrolysis requires a graphite electrode and a steel rod. This produces elemental magnesium. Major electrolysis products are hydrogen, chlorine, potassium hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is the most useful of the hydroxides, and is often used in processes such as aluminum refining. Hydrogen can be used to make hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride, and burned in a gas turbine. Potassium hydroxide can be used to make NiCad batteries, just like in the real world. Chlorine is used to produce dichloromethane, trichloromethane, chloroform, and carbon tetrachloride, all of which have many uses. All of these products are stored in these tanks. These distilleries take dilute saltwater solutions and turn them into usable saltwater solutions, which are then sent back and reprocessed. The largest uses for chlorine are in the production of PVC, polyvinyl chloride, PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene, and hydrochloric acid. The first two being polymers used for pipes mostly, although PTFE has found many uses in machinery, and hydrochloric acid is used in certain types of etching, and a lot of chemical reactions. I would like to thank you all for watching and have a great Tuesday.